seriously have zero idea of uh, how this is going to go. Hello, my name is Chef Pepe Ross Ramsey Jr. And welcome to my humble abode. I call it the Pepe Shack. This is my pride and joy. I have been working here for about um, uh, 15 minutes now. It was originally owned by Chef Pepe Ross Ramsey Sr. As you can see, uh, he has long passed as of two minutes now. Now in this cooking show, we are going to be combining the great arts of culinary artistry and musical artistry. Because you know what they say, you can't have music without yum. There's no Y in music. No, look, M Y. U Z I K music. I didn't drop out of third grade. But you did though. And we don't talk about that. Now today we're gonna to be making some Kawhi Future Base brownies. The particular brownies that I got for this one, um, it says it says thick and fudgy. So you know we we gotta we gotta insert that in the music. Thick. Which which one am I supposed to use? Well, you're gonna to need to use two of them. Use the medium and the large. Oh, okay, so we don't need this one. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the direction. Oh, okay. So we need total fat. We need 1.5 grams of total fat. Um, we need some saturated fat, some trans fat, some cholesterol. Oh, would you look at that? Don't count your eggs before they hatch. Don't count your eggs before you take them out and hatch them before the chicks come alive. As this cooking show is um, the magic morsels of music, um, we have to essentially create a metaphor for the music, for future bass, um, through the food. Now, I like to think of cracking an egg as a snare sound, you know, like the, the... And then the, the, the like, the egg, the egg itself, like the yolk, when it, like, plops down into the, into the bowl, um, as a kick, because it's, like, it's kind of, kind of beef. Now, contrary to popular belief, I believe when this says three eggs, it means not just, not just the yolk, you know? The shells, they add texture. So, you know, I, we, we, they want three eggs? Well, we have one egg, we have two eggs, and we have three. Copy! <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying about the drums, you know, you have your snare, and then you have to that did not go as planned. You got your snare. And then you have your kick. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay, I'm waiting for my sponsorship. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking for? The measuring cup. The <laughs> somebody measuring somebody cup? Took it. Somebody definitely took the it. The measuring cup. Oh. Uh, the one that's right here. I like to think of the water as um, what is called the sauce of the music, which is essentially like the chords, right? They're the chords, but it's like synth, and it sometimes goes wow, um, and then it sometimes just goes wee. When I pour the water in here, um, the water is obviously going to be diluted by all of the egg stuff in here, which is essentially a culinary representation of something called side chaining, where whenever the kick plays or the snare plays, if it's programmed to an instrument, uh, the, the percussion is gonna be a little bit louder and the instrument is gonna be a little bit softer. See, I was going to leave the rest of this restaurant to my first son, Chef Pepe Ross Ramsey III, but uh, he didn't follow the path of the treble chef. He actually, uh, he became a bartender. I wait for death every passing minute. Now, the oil here is, um, it is, it is a pure substance. It is thick, but it is not viscous. Um, so I consider this to be the representation of the base, also the, the lead on top. So it serves as like the thing that's holding the piece together, the thing that makes the piece. If you, if you listen closely, um, it, it will, it will sound a little bit more pure than the other elements. Now this stuff, the, the, the brownie mix, is what makes this dish so unique. It's what makes Kawaii Future Base so unique, which is this, this 
powder right here. It represents all of the outside sound effects and sound noises that Kawaii Future Base has. For example, we have we have we have anime voices, utensil clanking, sine wave backgrounds, 808 hi-hats, yes. We have some more anime voices, a lot of piano. <coughs> Now you're just gonna mix it around like this. Now just as this is mixing, um, imagine this as using all of the plugins that you have to mix all of the tracks together. Ah, uh, let's see what I did there. It'll start to to uh, appear to be more thick, you know, because that that's what you're going for when you're making Kawaii Future Bass. You want it to be thick. You want it to be you be smooth, but you want it to be thick. Because it says right here, you know, it's supposed to be. thick. In all honesty, I didn't think I'd be able to make something that was edible, let alone actual brownies. <sighs> which which one should I use? The bigger the one. Bi the bigger one. Oh, okay, cool. In terms of a metaphor, th this pan is the final processes of mixing, which you know you could say that this could be panning. Now it's, it's very important to actually spray it in the right direction or else you could get cross spray, you know, you don't want this stuff on the floor to be really slippery and so, you know, it's important to know. <laughs> on second thought, we're going to use this, uh, this Crisco stuff, um, it's a lot less hazardous. Look at all that thick. Man, I can, I can just hear this food. No, you'll burn your finger. <laughs> there's a little whipped cream in there too. And there's powdered sugar if you want to put- I'm not trying to get type two diabetes.